Good morning students, I am Ramdi Valluri from uh, Social Sciences Department, Narayana Group. Today we are going to deal with uh, Social Science Assignment, Federalism, Democratic Politics for Class 10. Let us see the first question. The system of government in which there is only one level of government. There is only one level of government is uh, unitary government. See, if you see federalism is a form of government where there are two or more levels of government will be there. In contrast to that unitary form of government. Unitary form of government has only one level of government. Even if they have subunits or subordinate states, they are uh, subjugated or they are uh, uh, subunits of uh, the central government or the unitary government. So, one level of government is unitary form of a uh, government. Let us see the second question. Belgium shifted from uh, unitary to a dash form of government after changes in 1993. So, 1993 constitution was amended uh, four times to accommodate uh, the so, uh, all the ethnic diversities. So, here uh, federal form, it is shifted from unitary form to federal form uh, the Belgium uh, uh, nation. In 1993. Let us see the third question. Name one country which has a unitary form of government. If you see unitary form of government, there are so many examples are there. You can give anything. You can give here uh, Sri Lanka. Apart from Sri Lanka, there is uh, Italy, North Korea, South Korea. Uh, you can also mention um, Iran, Maldives, uh, right? Uh, Zambia. Many examples are there. Uh, even you can. Uh, uh, just go through a list of unitary form of uh, governments. So, you can mention any one example. So, here we will mention Sri Lanka. Let us see the uh, fourth question. Out of 193 countries in the world, uh, we, how many uh, we have federal political systems? There are uh, 25 countries are practicing federal form of government. India is one of the best examples and uh, even you can say uh, United States, you can say Argentina, Australia, uh, Austria, Belgium, Bosnia, uh, Brazil, Canada uh, and we have uh, Russia. Like this we have so many examples you can give even Spain is also federal form of uh, government. So, here we will give uh, 25 states. How many uh, countries are there? So, 25 nations out of 193 are uh, practicing federal form of a uh, government. Let us see the next question. Different tires of government govern the same citizens, but each tire has its own jurisdiction in specific matters of legislation, administration and taxation. See, when we say federal form of government, federal form of government has a uh, two or more levels of government, one government at the central and one government at the state. Each government uh, will have certain uh, jurisdiction. Jurisdiction means uh, the areas where they are uh, legally supposed to rule. So, where uh, wherever the jurisdiction is there, so what type of administration they will do, what all uh, legislative uh, um, you know laws they can form on legislation that is law making uh, bodies in that particular state or in that particular region and administration they can look after and taxation as far as the taxes are concerned that is also clearly uh, defined in the constitution. So, different tires of government here tires means uh, different levels of government. For example, if you take uh, Indian example, one um, level at the central government, one at the state government and even we have local self governments also. All these levels or the tires of government, we can call it as uh, govern the same citizens, isn't it? Even though they are inhabitants of Karnataka or uh, if you see the example of India I am talking about or any other state, Maharashtra or Andhra Pradesh or Telangana, uh, see the state government uh, also administer the citizens, but they all belong to one nation that is India. Isn't it? So, govern the same citizens, but each tire has its own jurisdiction in specific matters. What are those specific matters? Legislation, administration and taxation. These three things you have to mention. Let us see the next question. An ideal federal system has both aspects of dash and dash. Here the question is ideal uh, federal system that is uh, if the federal system to be successful what is important because we are having one government at the center and one government at the state. So, what is required for the smooth functioning of the federal system? So, what is required? Here mutual trust, they should trust each other and agreement to live together. We should not uh, uh, you know 
a step on uh, others administration so here agreement to live together and mutual trust are the key features of a uh, uh, ideal federal system let's see the next question right uh, what are the two different types of a uh, federation we have two types of federation that is coming together federation and holding together federation you might have already learnt what is coming together when there are uh, uh, more independent nations or sorry when, when there are two uh, or more independent nations come together to form a single unit single large unit that is called as a coming together federation united states of america is the best example for coming together federation so here holding together federation what do you mean by holding together federation for the administrative convenience the central government itself on its own distributes powers right that is to the uh, different constituent units of the uh, nation so one example is a uh, india india is the best example for holding together federation fine so we have uh, different uh, tiers of uh, uh, governments that is called the holding together federation central government uh, uh, has more powerful uh, uh, government but at the same time it gives independent uh, uh, judiciary to the states and uh, local go self governments so here holding together federation so here next question dash is the area over which someone has a legal authority so here uh, jurisdiction is the area where we have a legal authority see this uh, aspect uh, you will come under uh, uh, india um, you know how does uh, india practices its a federation like you know we have a union list state list and concurrent list we have right so each level has its own uh, jurisdiction each level of government in one of the key features also you will come across this uh, word jurisdiction each level has its own jurisdiction what does it mean constitutionally each level of government has given the authority to administer uh, legally and taxes everything they can rule so there are uh, the subjects are given here subjects means uh, the areas are specified in the constitution for the central government for the state government for the local self governments so this is called jurisdiction jurisdiction is the area where um, over which someone has a legal authority i hope you understood right so tomorrow we'll come across uh, with some other assignment of the same lesson and until thank you so much